Hi guys and welcome to this video oh, for General Mass. And if you don't know who I am, I'm Darren, Mass Guru. Welcome, thank you very much. If you have watched my videos before, thanks very much. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. And there is mathsguru.com out there with the videos and downloadable notes. Downloadable notes? Yes, you can download these notes that I'm working on now. You can scribble all over them, stick them in, use them for revision. Doesn't really matter. You, they are there for you to help. If you can let your mates know, and your teacher. Actually, turn around to your teacher and go, do you know what? I found this guy. He's pretty good. He doesn't shut up at the beginning of his videos, but he's pretty good. Um, and we'll see what we can do. Now, what are we going to do today? We're going to look at something called the identity matrix and the inverse matrix. Woo, really? Well, yeah, because we're building on the ideas that we have had before our past learning. We've looked at adding matrices and subtracting matrices and timesing matrices. But have you noticed there's one we haven't done? And I haven't mentioned anything about dividing matrices. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the bad news is you can't divide matrices. Nope, not possible. But what we can do is use an interesting trick. Now that trick very much builds on something called the identity matrix and the inverse matrix. I'm gonna deal with the inverse matrix a little bit at the end of this video, but a lot more in a later video. We're just gonna look more at the uh, identity matrix. Now, he says thinking, what is that? So easy, it's nuts. Now, if you're gonna build on this in a later part of the course or next year, this is gonna become important. So please, please, please do what you can to understand it. Pause the video, rewind it, look what you uh, look at what you can do. So the identity matrix is a freaking awesome matrix. Now, what is it is? What is it is? That doesn't make sense. What is it? One, it's a square matrix. If you don't know what that is, there's a previous video. The very first one of this course, or this section of the course, tells you what a square matrix is. But basically, it has the same number of rows and columns. So ideally, I actually could have started with much simpler here, with just a one in a bracket. Doesn't make a lot of sense, so let's move to the next one. Here, what do you notice? Well, that there is a two by two matrix, and what we notice is the leading diagonal is always ones. All the rest of the values are in fact zero. So again, what have we got here? We've got a three by three. And again, I can draw this as a one, a one, and a one, and fill in the rest of them as zeros. Notice I always put the closing bracket on last. And there we go, we have an identity matrix. Now, it has to be on the leading diagonal. It can't be anywhere else. They can only be ones, and all the rest have to be zeros. And I suppose if we finished off by doing a four by four, we have one, 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 and all of the rest of these would be beautiful, beautiful zeros. And ladies and gentlemen, that's called the identity matrix, and it is given a capital I. Again, remember that matrices always have a capital letter as some sort of identifier. It helps us a little bit later on with our maths. So that's an identity matrix. But what is it used for? Well, I suppose let's have a look at some multiplication because if it's square and we've got square matrices, we can multiply them together. Here's an example. We've got A as 5, 2, 8, 3, and I as 1, 0, 0, 1. Let's work out what A times I is. Now we can multiply these together. The order of those letters is really important, which means we must put matrix A first, 5, 2, 8, 3. Then the identity matrix, which is 1, 0, 0, 1 and ka -ching, let's multiply them together. Now, can we? Yes, because that's a two by two. This is a two by two, which means they're the same, and it gives me a two by two as my answer. All right, so far so good. If you don't know how to multiply matrices, there is a video, go and watch it. First thing first, we're gonna find this value here. So we're gonna do this row times this column. Again, if you're not sure why, previous video. If you remember, we do the multiply and add, so we're gonna do five times two plus, uh, sorry, I do that all the time, five times one plus two times zero. Well, two times zero is zero, five times one is five, ka -ching. we have a five there. Now let's do this corner here, which is row one, column two, so we're gonna do row one, which is the five and the two, times by zero, one. So there we're gonna have five times zero plus two times one, well that disappears, and that gives me a two. Hold on a moment. Okay, it's just a fluke. Let's look at the next one. I'm beginning to see a bit of a pattern, but hold on. Now I'm gonna do this one here, which is row two, column one. So we're gonna do eight times one plus three times zero. That, hold on a moment, that's an eight. What, uh, huh? I no, no. I'm gonna do the second row, second column. I'm gonna end up with eight times zero plus three. No, there you go. 
And lo and behold, I've ended up with exactly the same. So if you realize this was A and that was I, and I've ended up with A. So what I've seemingly done is multiplied by one. That identity matrix seemingly has become the same as multiplying it by the scalar of one. All right, maybe it's just a fluke of the order. So let's do I times A then. Okay, so 1001. Zero, zero, one. And we're now going to times that by 5, 2, 8, and 3. I'm not going to do my order because they're 2 by 2 and 2 by 2 and no, they're going to work. We're going to get a 2 by 2 out of this and let's see. This one here, first row, first column, I'm going to have 1 times 5 plus 0 times 8. Well, 0 times anything is 0. 1 times 5, hold on a moment, that's a 5 again. Let's just set the second one. We could do the second one. Okay, so this one here, first row, second column, 1 times 2 plus 0 times 3, that goes, that gives, yeah. And actually, as it turns out, fast tracking this video, even when you multiply by the beginning of the identity matrix, or if you make the identity matrix the first one or the last one, it is in fact the same as multiplying by one. That was a lot of effort in this video to basically multiply by one. Why would that be useful to me? Mm -hmm. This is where it comes interesting. Basically, I'm not gonna tell you until the next video. The idea that the identity matrix multiplies by one is actually really, really important. It's gonna come up a little bit in later on, and I'm gonna show you a little bit of algebra. You, don't panic, it's fine, yeah? But what is important to get from this lesson is that square matrices can have what we call an inverse. Now I'm gonna start talking about an inverse, this magical inverse thing, and you're gonna go, well, what on earth is an inverse? Again, to be able to divide matrices, and I hate saying that out loud because you're not really allowed to say it, but to be able to do something close to division, we need to have something called an inverse matrix. Now, first things first, inverse matrices must be square. What do I mean? They must have the same number of rows and the same number of columns, or for a matrix to have an inverse, it has to have the same rows and columns. And an inverse matrix is denoted by, generally, the capital letter with a minus floaty one, all right? So a power of minus one. And you're gonna turn around and say, well, okay, you still haven't told me what it is. Nope, because I'm gonna show you in the next lesson. But let's just look at how to find this inverse, this magical inverse on the CAS. Now, we already know that using the TI Inspire or the Casio class pad, we can put in a matrix, as I've done here. So I've got a matrix, one, two, three, and four. And I've done the arrow and A. I've stored it into some variable A. Now, I could use capital letters if I wanted to, but the CAS doesn't really care one way or the other, and it's for me to interpret. So I can make that just into A. And what I've said to you is, when you raise that to the power, all right, so you have the little carrot sign, or in depending on how your calculator shows it, so long as you have that to the power of negative one, which is what I've done here, then lo and behold, out comes this inverse matrix. Whatever that means, that's what it is. Now you'll notice in your calculator that that actually comes out as a decimal, or some whole numbers, some decimals, some um, positive, some negative, and you're gonna go, what voodoo is this? Voodoo, voodoo. The point of it is, again, next year, if you continue this on, there are videos that will show you how to do this. In fact, if you're interested, pause this one and look at the year 12 course. There'll be a video in there that explains inverses a little bit more, and you'll go, ah. Please, for this moment in time, just realize that you've got to understand what the identity matrix is, and the inverse matrix. There is one last thing that again is going to be important for you to know. So the question is, what happens when I multiply a matrix by its inverse? Or the inverse by the matrix? Now again, normally, like two times three is six, three times two is six, with numbers, we can swap them around and it makes no difference. With matrices, there are huge differences and we've seen that in previous videos. Yes, A times B isn't always the same as B times A. In fact, it very rarely is the same. But what I've now done is said, well, let's see what happens when you multiply a matrix by its inverse. So here we go, same screenshot as I got before. There was my original matrix, we've called it A. We've worked out what A to the minus one was, which was here. Now I've said to my calculator, do me a favor, multiply those together. Tell me what A times A to the minus one is. Now, because calculators are as stupid as, I don't know, the wall, you're gonna look at this and you're gonna go, well, what is that? 
Well, first things first, standard form, 1e minus 14 is as close as this calculator is ever going to get to zero in this particular instance and with matrices in this particular example, all right? So basically, your calculator isn't clever enough to go, ah, oh, hold on a moment, that's actually zero. It thinks it's a very, very small number. So this here is actually trying to tell you it's 1001. Hold on a minute. Oh, the phone? That's the identity matrix. And as it turns out, if I was to do it the other way around, I would actually end up with the identity matrix as well. Now you're gonna say, huh? Again, just accept for the moment, for this video, that you know what an identity matrix is. Yeah, it's square with ones on the diagonal. You know that the inverse matrix is something that your calculator can work out, and that when you multiply a matrix by its inverse, you will always get the identity matrix. If you've got that, the next video is gonna make a lot more sense. But I'm pretty much done for this one. Thank you very much for watching. A couple more minutes to come. Please watch it, subscribe to my YouTube channel, head over to Maths Guru. Hopefully I'll see you in another video. You take care of yourself, guys. See you soon. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Yes, this is the end of another video. If you haven't already done so, can you click on my subscribe button? Yes, it doesn't mean anything other than the fact that I know that you are watching. Yes, it's greatly appreciated. Otherwise, I feel like I'm sitting here just talking to myself. And then, yes, there is mathsguru.com, of which you can see a still of now. And what is over there? Well, all the videos ordered by textbook, ordered by topic. You can search for the videos. You can download notes time codes, exam questions, and so, so much more coming up. Yeah, it's absolutely free to join. So I'm done. Thank you very much. I hope to see you in another video. Give me a shout out to your mates if you can. I just want to make sure that everyone finds maths interesting and easy. All right, take care, guys. See you again. Bye-bye. Stay safe.